Hi guys, I promised you uh, a glimpse, a uh, first tour of the new van. I think it's called Odyssey Blue. Wasn't particularly keen on it when I saw it, but the van met the criteria that I wanted. Okay, so it came with alloy wheels, front fogs, bars at the top, unfortunately, there's a little bit missing up there. I put these on, wind deflectors, because I leave my windows permanently down and it doesn't show that they're down at all. Both sides um, allows a good airflow through the van, stops condensation, or hopefully will help prevent it. Um, I blacked out the windows myself, bought a kit online, fitted them myself, started off brilliant, got worse as I went on. See it there, so this is the first window I did and I did a great job I thought, um, not so well little tear up here when the wind got it um, anyway so let's have a look inside okay so this is the door at first I couldn't decide which way I wanted to do it but um this is the way put a little hessian mat down there this is just um, sticky stuff that you get from Wilco's. Hidden behind here is all my leisure battery fuse box, etc. I shall make storage space out of this at some point. I haven't finished it off yet. This is my Dometic, the old Waco style fridge. Yeah, so this is just about accessible from the position it's in, but it does, you can lift it up and slide it out which then gives access to the water. An old bit of worktop I cut down. There's a mattress on there at the moment. It might be too thick. I might be able to thin it down a little bit. Underneath there is going to be my safe. is going to be fitted there and bolted through. It's not done yet. Access to under the bed. And I shall show you that in a minute. Okay. Currently these are just freestanding, these bits at the back. They're not actually fixed in place yet, so I can fix shelves to them. And there, look, oh my God, is a TV. I haven't owned a TV since 2013. So view from the back, under the bed. The bed top is not actually fixed down yet. This bit is still a bit, it's loose. And the bed does extend to six foot six. Um, I'll show you that fully in another video. Cooker on the end, which is fixed on hinges so for external cooking I have two of these and um, the other bits somewhere else at the moment so the cooker has simple clips underneath just to knock it back down into place access there to the fuel tank for the diesel heater which is there and there is plenty of room it doesn't look it but there is plenty of room to suck in air there and uh, it's my sink the sink's not fixed in place yet the taps not connected up and the wastage is not connected um, but it will go through those holes down there when it's covered Okay, so, so There's the TV. It's on a bracket. I had to make a little hook for it. Just a tablet stand But tablets are only sort of eight to ten mils thick and that telly is about 20 mil thick So again, this is not fixed in place yet, but will be it will have some shelving on I will build a little shelf system out of these uh, little surrounds to store a few things and the same this side these overhead lockers are brilliant. I have lights. Anyway, down here, there's the old panel for the diesel heater, on off. And um, the reason I didn't go for an LCD display is I've looked on Facebook, looked on all the groups and everybody, how do I turn the display off? The display is rubbish, really. This works just as well. And if you want to know what the error codes are, it, well, if it's got an error, it'll light up the number of lights. So you just refer to the error code as you would before. And instead of getting a number, you get a number of lights. Okay, I've got this little control panel here. Um, for a light up there. A little under level right. Um, sorry, that was the light of this side, which I've disconnected. Some red lights, and this one's free at the moment. Um, so still a fair bit of work to do. Um, this bit... This bit of the bed comes out and I want to be able to incorporate this into a backrest so that when I'm sat in it and you can see it just slots in there nicely. This panel comes off easily if needed. 
stainless steel screws there's the air duct and i know that's under the bed but during the day it'll be set up differently i'm not going to show you now that, that'll be a little bit too awkward okay looking in from the front you can see up there i've got a carbon monoxide tester i've got my little thermometer i've got the fire extinguisher up there and i've got a smoke alarm and that's the toaster friendly one that i've seen on mel's world recently and there's also a rail with some hooks i haven't put my curtains up i do have the curtains from my old van Okay, there's a view in from the driver's side rear. A bit of light over there, tidied up. And this is where that panel will lift out there, access to my safe where I'll keep my cameras. And by moving the seat forward, there is another piece there. There is another piece there that slots in and gives the bed its full length and it is pretty good um, all that will be demonstrated in full when it's all up and running okay thanks guys thanks for watching i'm going to be away now for another week or two i've got a job uh waiting to go and shoot which is 200 miles in the wrong direction to where i want to be traveling in a couple of weeks so i've managed to pick up some advanced train tickets which are nice and cheap but i've also um managed to get a little job for, not an unpaid job but house sitting for a friend they've got a couple of cats they're going away so they want someone to look after the house it's in the same place as where i'm doing the wedding where i used to live and uh so that's absolutely ideal so there won't be any more videos on this channel for a couple of weeks till early april and early april i should be going away for a month till early may it'll be a whole month i go away to the lake district as i've said before Thanks for watching.